Britain, a distinguished land of civilization, politeness, and etiquette. Who wants a fucking burger? Come out to my house, I'll come out of my house and I'll break your fucking leg. I just had a lovely night at the premature end in slug. I'll fucking kick it, he does Eddie with a kind of stomach. I was eating a biscuit the other day and I suddenly thought, f this biscuit. I don't want a bourbon cream. F you, you crunchy fucking cream filled prick. F off back to your biscuits. Come on, come on, if you want a pie. Come on, then. Yeah, sometimes the UK is a bit different to some people's expectations. But before we get into this video, do you want to earn stacks from just using apps or playing games? Then this video sponsor, freecash.com, is the site for you. When I saw the email come through, I thought this was too good to be true. But I got 4.6 stars on Trustpilot. So I signed up, clicked that earn tab, and before you know it, your boy had 20 quid worth of earnings. For example, you can make 5 quid by just downloading TikTok and using it for a bit. You also have the more popular gaming options, which have several achievements to complete. I'm sure a lot of you guys already spend time gaming so why not make money from it as well and when you're done earning hit that cash out you could use paypal but i just put it on a just eat gift card because i'm addicted to balti sign up for free using my code or the link in description for a free gift box and a chance to win 250 dollars now today i'm going to be talking you through the cultural differences between some of britain's cities and by the way if it seems like i've missed out some obvious big cities it's because i have this is based purely off my personal experience and unfortunately these are the places outside of the west midlands that I have been to in my adult life. When I say unfortunately, I mean unfortunately. First off, London. We're talking 10 million people, 10,000 chicken shops, 10,000 annual n crime offences, and a general fast-paced atmosphere. Londoners aren't as open and as banterous as other Brits. I mean, I think you could genuinely suffer from a violent cardiac arrest in the middle of Elephant and Castle roundabout, and Londoners would be more focused on making it to the Bakerloo line on time. I mean, in Brom, someone would at least let you sky their ka grape juice to get the blood pumping again you know speaking of the tube though londoners are blessed with possibly the only efficient public transport system in england unless you live here but for some reason the tube makes people so cold and evil genuinely as soon as you sit down on any line you're just met by a sea of thousand yard stairs and an insanely awkward silence like you'd genuinely have more social interactions if you got the 35 in Birmingham for 20 minutes than you'd have if you spent an entire year catching a DLR twice a day. Midlanders and Northerners are straight up terrified of London, man. They will look at you differently if you tell them you like London or are considering moving there. So you'd think Northern cities must be nicer or safer or better. <laughs> You know when I hear people talking about how good Westerners or British people have it, I'm like, bruh, you ain't never been stuck in crew because your train to Manchester got cancelled. You really telling me you want to leave Gdansk for crew? Now, trust me, man, you don't want to do this to yourself. And uh, talking about Polish people, next up we got Leamington Spa. These guys like to claim they have a royal title. Uh, the only thing royal here is the amount of imported camel super kings they smoke. It it's straight up fake London. And a lot of people from Coventry or Birmingham when they get rich move here to feel like they're living in London on top of that you have students Poles and criminals from Coventry have been put on witness protection next up Worcester dumbass sauce weird ass Mackies I've really seen some extremely paranormal and suspicious sights in this Mackies that's all I'm allowed to say uh, speedily moving on Bristol we're talking fold up bike gluten free rye bread rye bread flavored elox vapes and hills yeah if there's one thing Bristolians have aside from geek bars and good Italian food it's strong calf muscles. The general mental health is slightly better here than the rest of the UK because aesthetically Bristol was very nice. Probably one of the prettiest UK cities and Bristolians are therefore generally nicer than Londoners and definitely way nicer than people from Bath. Uh, bathers. I reckon if you were struck by a violent cardiac arrest outside St. Nicholas's Market, people would at least let you hit their geek bar one last time, you know? Next we have Manchester. Aesthetically, it's just Birmingham with a different spawn code. They just ended up with a slightly better transport method. Mancunians are hella nice, you know with most places up north, 
Pints are cheaper, chips are thicker, people are hairier, the phobia of London is stronger. Next to Manchester, you got Liverpool. And Scousers are really, really, really funny for about four hours, maybe. After that, they get so annoying. Around the six and a half hour mark, I'll probably catapult myself into the River Mersey. Next, we've got Milton Keynes. Uh, this, this place is fake. It is a government lie. And the only other place outside of the West Midlands that I have any first-hand experience of is Wales. Now, culturally, there are a few really important words and sayings you're going to need to learn in order to communicate in Wales. Specifically, and you should be able to get along with all the locals if you get those under your belt. In conclusion, this is my British city tier list. And who knows, maybe the tier list will be completed. If everyone likes this video and it does well, and also everyone comments the cities they want to see in part two, it might just happen. Just please not slough, please.